Gardens Garden Center. Let's head inside. And before we head inside, look at this. I got stopped in my tracks by these sunflowers. How beautiful. So this is Sunfinity Sunflowers, an upright annual, and it blooms in summer. It's $8.48. It's a two and a half quart container. And it's actually cold hardy in all zones, but it's an annual, so don't expect it to come back next year. I did have some annuals in my garden, and they didn't come back this year, but this one is so pretty. Like how gorgeous are these? And with fall right around the corner, this is perfect. And here are some other planters as well. These are more in the 4th of July Memorial Day theme. Remember I was looking for red, white, and blues? Now here they are. <laughs> now they have them available. So these are nice. And today's garden inspiration is Steph with Hooked and Rooted. She does amazing tours of garden centers. And if you've seen her, she's very knowledgeable, very educational. Her garden is amazing and she is a wealth of knowledge. She actually started these garden tour videos. So she's my garden inspiration for today. So she started these garden tour videos. She's actually in a colder zone than I am. So for you gardeners who want to see what's in hot, sunny Florida garden, that's what I'm here for. So if you're not following her go check her out so even though this is not blue they pop the flags in to give it a red white and blue theme which is pretty smart so this is perfect for memorial day or for the july so keeping in the theme of fall and i know many of you guys are saying oh my goodness you are shopping for fall plants already yes i am i'm not purchasing anything today because it's triple digits 101 degree 102 and things are, are gonna die if i plant them now but these colors are beautiful. We have the yellows and oranges. And once you get them planted now, by the time August, September comes around, they're going to be ready. I'm facing a lot of heat struggles in my garden already. If you saw my last um, video where I showed you all the plants that are suffering from heat damage because of our triple digit weather, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is a Cheyenne Spirit Cone Flower. Full sun, it's a perennial, it's $8.98. It needs six plus hours of direct sun and it's hardy um, to zones negative 20 to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So got some size as well. So these are pretty good. I really like them. And you also have the Coreopsis and these are by Monrovia. Monrovia does do pretty combinations as well. I really like it. Be Bright Mix. These are Pentas. They're $7.98. They are perennials. They come back year after year. Look how beautiful these blooms are. Look at that. Pretty. And on this side, we have the pink colors. If you're looking for a pink theme for your garden, these cone flowers also come in pink. And these are the Monrovia brand. And if you are on the lookout for hydrangeas, the tuxedo are here. Dark foliage hydrangeas. And these are actually full sun to part shade. I, if you're watching from zone nine or higher, I wouldn't recommend any sun, not any sun, any full sun, but I recommend part sun. Um, these are cold hearted to zone six because these will burn easily. Like if you leave them exposed too much, and I've had that in my garden. You see how you see the leaf browning right there? The whole thing will burn. So that's the tuxedo hydrangea here's another one right here this one's a drop-in container you step one pick your plant step two pick your container and drop it in and this one is 29.98 and this one over here is 26.98 and that's a two and a quarter gallon container and how cute they put the fertilizer right next to it so you can actually use the arm um, with the garden lime this one turns the hydrangea pink and it raises the soil pH so if you have blue hydrangeas and you want them to be pink Espoma have this garden lime you can turn them pink and the, the opposite is true they have the soil acidifier to make them blue as well like in my garden I use a soil acidifier to make them blue 
And these have been blooming for a while because you can see these are spent blooms. So once they're done blooming, you come in and you deadhead them. You take all those spent blooms off or you can cut them and bring them inside for more continuous bloom until they die back. But that's how they look. Another new item we have here at Lowe's is the Caladiums. This is a Scarlet Flame and Radiance. So this one has both in the containers. A 20, it's $24.98 and it's actually a proven winner's container. Um, so it's a heart to heart brand. I actually have the heart to heart. I have the, um, it's a green and white one. I forgot the name, but I planted it last year and I was surprised to see it return this year. So this is Sun to Shade. I had it in a part sun location and it sure came back. I thought it was done for, but it came back. So beautiful containers. So if you are loving caladiums, these are beautiful. And here go another one. This one is the Chinook. This is also the Heart to Heart series. But they're beautiful, I love it. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know one of the main things I love seeing at the garden centers are container recipes. This one is a patio collection grown by Nature's Way Farms. It's $32.98 and it's a three gallon container. It doesn't have the name of the plants. This one appears to be a um, mandevilla, a yellow mandevilla. And this is a fern. And this is the one of the red grass, purple grass. If you know the name, you can put them in the comments below, but I love this container. It's very pretty. It's like a yellow green, very nice combination. Here is another combination. I don't like this one. I love the um, the crotons, and this is a mandevilla, and this is more like a palm type, and it doesn't list the name of the plants on it. I wish it did. Like normally they're on the back side, but it's not listed on the back side. Maybe it was on the top and they cut the top off. You see how it looks like the bottom part is missing? So I think they cut it. And that's how it is in all of them. And this is $32.98, so it's a blue rock combo. If you like it, it's yours. But I, I like these. I don't like it with this colors. But in case somebody else do it, I want to show you guys the combination. But it does give tropical vibes. And maybe because it's tropical and I'm in a tropical area, I'm so used to the tropical vibes. So that's it. And look at these beautiful sun patients. They are available in red and pink. These are beautiful. They're $6.48. It's a pretty good size container. They're $6.48 and it needs six plus hours of sun, which is good. And I, and I said I was going to plant these next year. And I'm very tempted to get them for this year, but I have some super tunis in my current location. So I'm going to wait until next year hopefully they're there but these pink are beautiful beautiful and i love the red i mean i'm gonna get pink red and white because i can't decide which color i like but these are so pretty look at that and these are none hardy below 40 degrees fahrenheit and look what i found more caladiums look at this so this one is the lowe's brand so these are one or three hours morning sun. So these are shade. But look at the color in this. This is beautiful, beautiful. So it's Caladium, Caladio. And we have some red colors. Look at this one. It's not done unfurling as yet. How beautiful is that? Wow. I love when they're unfurling. They look so pretty. So this container is $30.98. And I'm pretty sure it's because it's in this container. So sometimes you end up paying the containers probably $15 to $20. This is one to three hours of sun. And it's none hardy below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Marigolds are also here. $13.98. And it comes as a little mini flat. It's a pack of 12. 
so they bloom spring summer and fall i love these for um for the fall and also for mosquitoes because if you're in florida or in a mosquito area you know marigolds help keep away mosquitoes and snakes <laughs> so that's another reason why i want i wanted to get them but i'm not gonna get them today and these are new as well wide brim hosta these are 5.98 one to three hours of morning sun so they prefer shade but this is beautiful i wonder how big it gets okay so that's the sizing okay so it's not hardy in zones one to two so they like shade so that's good and even though this one is not new for this month i showed this one to you last month is a polka dot plant it's an annual for 12.98 how beautiful is this container they have more in stock so in case you went to lowe's looking for them last month and they were done this cart just came out and look at that so they're not yet on the shelves they're still on the cart they're getting ready to stock them and restock them actually because these are new inventory so that's pretty cute and of course we have more coleus and if you've planted coleus before you know they do not like the sun so be careful with your coleus it's more mostly grown for its foliage it can um it has little blooms that it can shoot up but it's mostly for shade so one or three hours of morning sun to so try to keep it out of the sun because they will wither <laughs> and they will burn in the sun and it's cold hearted to all zones i've had coleus that died in the winter and they came back the following year so you may be lucky in your zone as well you got another color and they're only 848 these are pretty large containers as well these are two quart containers so i've seen a lot of gardens mentioned in scavola this one is by monrovia it's 8048 cents it's two and a half quart container and it says easy care it, it takes six plus hours of direct sun and it blooms spring summer and fall and hardness to 32 degrees fahrenheit so this one is purple and white and these are beautiful i see a lot of um gardeners have been mentioning that these are perfect for for sun hot climate so that's good to know that we actually have some because it's full sun it's an animal but it loves full sun so that's good to know we need those plants especially here in zone 9b florida it gets pretty hot so i've actually purchased um the one i have is a proven winners brand so i'm going to test it out and let you guys know how it does after the season ends and here we have more coleus so i haven't grown this before but this is beautiful i'm loving the foliage this is a brazilian red hot alternanthera <laughs> it's an annual 16.98 and it's none hardy below zones 32 degrees fahrenheit and the average size is um 18 by 18 to 24 height by 12 to 15 so that's good i like the foliage it's very pretty it's like a green mixed with pink and a bit of chartreuse I'm loving the colors on that and it does appear it gets more pink so it's a seasonal color plant and I'm guessing for fall is when it comes alive so I am really liking that <laughs> and next to that more foliage plant is the black heart ornamental potato vine by Monrovia it's $3.98 this one's a one pint container it takes full sun and it's an annual look at the texture on these leaves so beautiful remember that container i showed you and i told you that those look like um mandevillas it looked like this plant right here alamanda bush but since it's a bush maybe it's not but it looks very similar to that so it's 16.98 it takes full sun i wonder if it, that was a dwarf variety that was in the container and cold, oh look at that, zone 10, cone non hardy in zones one through nine. So for all my warm weather folks, this is a perennial for us and it will come back and it loves full sun. And it has a very beautiful yellow color. That's beautiful.
And if you guys can hear those birds, there are a lot of birds in the ceiling <laughs> and they are loud. So I think they're talking over me, chirping over me. Let me show you a bird. There go one. There's a lot of them. All right. So yeah, there's a lot of birds in the rafters. <laughs> Look at this. How beautiful. It's a beautiful orange color. I love it. So I haven't tried the um, the Gerber daisies as yet and next year I'm definitely going to be trying them or I may try them this fall if they're still here. So this is a Garvinia Sweet Honey Gerber Daisy. It takes full sun. This is a two and a half quart container. It's $8.48. So the care are six plus hours of direct sun. It blooms spring, summer and fall and it's hardy to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When I tell you look at those petals. I am so in love with it. It's so pretty. Okay, this is new. Look at this. These smell so good. These are on standard. If you saw mine, I got mine from Costco, but it's the same exact plant. It's the gardenia on standard. Look at that. Bloom season, spring and summer. So that's good. So a cold hardy zone eight, um, none hardy in zones one to seven. So for our warmer zones like myself, zone nine and higher, you guys can get this to come back. And I did a video on this. Just make sure that the soil is acidic, it's not next to concrete slab, and it doesn't like to be wet. Like you know how hydrangeas like a lot of water. This does not like to be saturated with water, such as the hydrangeas. And mine have bloomed three times already. So I have three. <laughs> loads of bloom and i'm loving it i'm loving it this one is 34.98 i don't believe i spent this much for mine because i got it got costco you know costco you get good deals but this one's 34.98 here at lowe's so if you're looking for gardenia on standard they are available wow these are so pretty this is a color combo it has a lantana get you closer this is $30.99. These are the Lantana combos. And it blooms summer and fall. So you get the red and orange color. There's also a purple and a yellow color in there as well. So I have the yellow. Mine isn't doing too well because <laughs> it's in the sun. So mine hasn't been doing too well. And I also haven't been watering it as much. So that's I'm not gonna blame the plant. I'm gonna blame the gardener. <laughs> Oh, these caught my eyes from a mile away. <laughs> Look at that. So I have, I don't have this dark foliage, but in my um, neighborhood and just in my city itself, there's a lot of crepe myrtles lining the streets. This is $54 Mystic Magenta. This is by Black Diamond. It blooms spring, summer, fall. Doesn't bloom in winter. Hardiness two through five is an annual and it's a perennial in zone seven through ten mature size is 12 by eight so it gets tall guys it gets tall so it's full to part sun six plus hours and prune shape in late winter or early spring but look at the blooms again wow so you have that color here you go a pink color right here as well as this color. It's like a raspberry color. It's so pretty. I'm loving it. Mystic Magenta Crepe Myrtles. And of course, we have some Bogan Villas. So pretty. Look at that. Pinks and reds and white. Beautiful. And these are $29.98. This is the Mandevilla Tropical Breeze Red. These are in two gallon containers. And here we have some more crepe myrtles. These are the traditional white ones. I see a lot of these in my city. Like in Florida, you see a lot of um, crepe myrtles. So this one is $49.98. And I'm glad they put a picture. It says one here guaranteed, but look how tall it gets. These get super tall. Mature size 20 by 20. This is the Oasis succulent container. How pretty. 
and of course you're paying for the container because it's $49.98 <laughs> but this succulent is very pretty I would definitely get something like that and here goes some more binkas over here and these are only $5.48 alright I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye